Hey guys, Phil Swat here from Create Effects. Now I have a quick question from Thomas regarding my tutorial I made the other day. And he just wanted me to show him how I went about taking a flat 2D image and turning it into a 3D environment. So I'm hopefully going to answer that question today. So let's jump right into Nuke. Right, so what we want to do now is jump into Nuke. And what I want to show you is how to take a flat 2D image like this one here. And basically in 3D space, it looks something like this. It's completely flat. And what we want to do, the question I've been asked is how do I turn that into sort of a 3D environment? So what I've got here is a projection setup. As you can see, if I look through the camera, I've got a 3D room here. So that 2D flat image has been turned into a 3D room. You can see the different planes that it's been projected onto. I'm just going to show you how I did that for the last project that I did. So first of all, what we're going to do, just delete that, is I've got, I'm just going to unplug this here. I'm, I showed you in the last tutorial how you create the 3D camera. So just as I showed you in the last tutorial, I've got the Roto. So in the shot here, I've got the freezer, which I've used the 3D track um, and the Roto to basically cut that out. So I've got that here on a separate thing so you can see it playing here and what I want to do is build a different environment to put it into so for that I'm gonna take this flat image I'm just gonna reformat it now to be just the same format as my project and what we're gonna do is start again I'm gonna rebuild this up so let me just move this all over pull this to the side okay so let me just delete that so what I've got here is the room just reformatted to the right size. So first things first, I'm just going to take a project 3D and you can just type push tab and type project 3D. I'm just going to plug that in here. And what I want to do is just take um, the 3D match move camera and just take it for one frame. So it's like a reference frame and then I'm going to project using that. So I'm just going to take the camera itself, which is the same camera here. I'm just going to grab that. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, I just want to take it for one frame. So you can either go in and just, let me pick a good reference frame. Let's pick 2000. You can go in here and right click, say no animation, just to kill the animation of the camera. Or in other ways, you can just push tab and type frame hold and put the frame that you want. So I'm just going to hold frame 2000, just as my reference. I'm going to plug that in here. Okay, so now what I need to do what I am doing is I'm going to project this still here and I want to project it onto some cards. So what I want to do is just type in card and let's have a look here. I'm just going to plug that in. And if I look at that through this moving camera, so that's camera eight. So if I look at the 3D environment here and I go to camera eight, just push spacebar to full screen. You can see this is the camera move for the scene. Oh yeah, sorry, that's right. I killed the animation on that, so I need to look through the moving camera. So let's just grab, or let's just double click on camera five. Let's just bring that up. So now if I view it, you can see the moving scene through that camera. So first of all, as you can see, this card is too small. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to increase the scale of the card. I'm just going to make it pretty big just so you can see the whole scene. So if we look at it now, you can see it playing. So this is still just a flat card in 3D space. So all we're going to do now is create the different cards for the back wall, the side wall, the floor and the roof. So if we look at that now in 3D space and zoom out, you can see it's just a flat card here. So I'm just going to move it back just there and you can actually I'm just gonna double click on my card here that I have from for my freezer that I cut out and you can see it sits roughly there in 3d space so I'm gonna go to this back card I'm just gonna move it back a bit just to create a nice bit of depth in the scene and then what I need to do next let me just move that up is I want to create a 
card just on the floor, which is on the grid here. So I'm just going to go in and duplicate this card. I'm just going to plug that in again. Double click on that one. And what I want to do now is I just want to rotate it. Negative 90. And bring it down. And what I want to do is I just want to bring it just so it, it's on the floor plane. I can now bring that forward. Just so it sits on the floor the same as the freezer does. And as you can see, it is warping the image. So what I want to do next is push T for transform. I'm just going to move the image up just so, well, it's easier to show you. If I move the image up, you can see how it starts to dist or distort back into place or lowers the distortion. And what you want to do is line that crease with the back wall, which is on the floor, just right. So it's just about there. So now you can see it sits nicely where it should. And all we're going to do now is I'll duplicate that card again. I'm going to start creating the side walls. So what I want to do is rotate this. Not 900. Actually, let's just leave that and um, just want to go to zero here. Okay, so now we need to move the side wall into place, and the way to do that is just to look at the crease on the side, and you just want to line up till that corner piece here lines up with the corner so it's about right there and once you you can also move that up that's fine there so what I'll do is I'll duplicate that again I'll plug that in and now I'm gonna move this over it's gonna rotate that the other way and again just line that up with the crease Now I need to do the same with the roof. So let's just see, you can, and also another thing, if you push tab and type in merge geo, you can start merging these all together to create one piece of geometry. Now what I need to do is do the roof. It's the only one that we've got left to do. So I'm gonna take the floor, duplicate the floor again. Now I'm gonna plug that in. I'm gonna raise that up. And I wanna put this to positive. 90 and same thing again I'm just going to look at it and try and line it up with the crease of the top so there you go as it roughly lines up there merge them together now you can see the whole scene and if we look at it again through the moving camera which is camera 5 now as you play it you can see that we now have a 3D environment which um, should track quite nicely and one way to test it is we can actually just very briefly go to the Merge Geo and just plug in the card with the 3D Roto. Now if we full screen that, we can play it. And you can see how that sits on the floor quite nicely. So the only thing left to do, apart from doing your traditional comping, is just to come in here, type Tab, which type in Scanline Render. Now what you want to do is you want to run this projection through the moving camera. So this is the moving camera here, just for to be neat, I'm just going to copy that and paste it here. Plug this into the object, plug that into the camera. And now, if you look at that, push tab there, we've got the 2D render of that. So that should move quite nicely. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a merge node, which is just pushing M, but I've already got one here. I'm going to merge the roto over this environment. So you can see it there. So now these two, because they're going through the same moving camera, they should move the same. So I'm just going to let this render and then I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, so as you can see, I've just rendered a small portion here just for you to have a look at. And you can see now that the they both move the same, the camera moves the same, and now we have a 3D environment that moves the way it should. So I hope I've answered your question. And... 
If there's any more questions that you have or anything you want me to elaborate on, I'm happy to do that. Just leave a comment in well below in the, of the video and um, I'll try to answer that for you. So thanks again, guys, and I will catch you again next time.